Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I don't feel good. I feel nervous. I really feel nervous. Oh, come on. Relax. Relax. Been to the cash machine? <sighs> yeah. Car clean? Uh-huh. Plenty of gas? Uh-huh. Mm. Breath. How's your breath? It's fine. It's mouth twice. All right. I think you're all set. So just go uh, clean the pipes and let's go. <clears throat> huh? Tell me you spanked the monkey before any big date. Oh, my God, he doesn't flog the dolphin before a big date. Are you crazy? That's like going out there with a loaded gun. Of course that's why you're nervous. After you've had sex with a girl and you're lying in bed with her, are you nervous? No. No. Because you ain't got the baby batter in the brain anymore. The most honest moment in a man's life are the few minutes after he's blown his head. That is a medical fact. And the reason for it is that you're no longer trying to get laid. You're actually, you're thinking like a girl. And girls love that. I've been going out with a loaded gun. Like is 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. And more importantly, it teaches women how men think. I am your professor. Every week at this time, we, we teach a course... It provides valuable information to men and women. And uh, the information that uh, is disseminated here uh, is taken out into the field. It is field tested. You have heard uh, many of the um, results reported on the air. And we encourage you, if you have used Like Us 101, to call in and tell us what's happened to you. The world is our laboratory. This being essentially a correspondence course... Uh, people email the professor. The email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom at blowmeuptom.com. They write in. Some people are very angry, very offended. Uh, I know that uh, moronic um, that moronic group called Media Watch. They're very offended by Like It's 101. Because we talk about sex and money so much. And that's why they say... We're tops in men 25 to 54 on this radio program. It's because of Lycus 101 and the fact that we keep discussing sex and money. And sex and money are um, essentially connected, you know. I mean, uh, the reality is men want sex. Women want money. That's reality, folks. Men want sex, women want money. We want to get all the sex we can get and spend as little as possible. Women want security, the option to do or not do anything they want to do. Stay home, go to work, stop for a while, go to school, whatever. And so women uh, give out a certain number of sexual favors in exchange for how many dinners, drinks, uh, how much rent can be paid, whatever they can extract from us. And it's a constant power struggle. For us men, the job is to give out as little money as possible and get as many sexual favors as we can. Of course, for women, you're trying to get as much dinner, as much alcohol out of us, as many gifts, as much jewelry as you can while providing as few sexual favors as possible. It's war. But the fact is that because we've got the money, men have the upper hand. I mean, women don't even know why we have the upper hand, because we're such suckers when it comes to money. Some men will spend any amount of money to get sex, any amount of money on a woman just to impress her. And the real truth is women are not impressed when you spend money. They'll take it. They're laughing behind your back. They're laughing at you. Why would you give women gifts and money and jewelry and trips and alcohol and food? Why are you doing this? When they go with their girlfriends and they go, look at this Rocky puppy. Look at this. This is two carrots. How much is yours? Oh, three quarters of a carrot. Well, that's too bad. And what is that all about, by the way, comparing diamond rings? You know, women... If you ever wonder whether women are concerned about material possessions and money and what have you, 
Look at how women get together and compare diamond rings. Look how many women who uh, you would think are thoughtful and nostalgic and romantic. Look how many are perfectly willing to take that little diamond crumb that you gave them when you were 21 years old and said, will you marry me? Look how many they want to trade up to some big honking rock later on. I mean, that little diamond crumb was all you could afford. And he was like, do you love me? And you would think, oh, isn't that romantic? Isn't that nice? Look at that. It was all he could afford. And he went out and did that. He got went out and got the best diamond ring he could afford on the little bit of money he made. How many of these women just take that little keepsake, that little memento, that loving, tender moment? How many women are just willing to toss that, chuck that, stick it in a safe deposit box somewhere, and trade up to the big rock? Huh? There's a lot of that. And it is also these women can go out to their girlfriends in a very visceral manner and say, oh, look at this. He just got me a new diamond ring. Look at this. Uh, it is war, folks. Men want sex. Women want money. Who wins? Well, if you're a man, to get as much sex as you can and spend as little as possible. If you're a woman, maybe you subscribe to that book, The Rules, that we were talking about on Politically Incorrect. To get as many dates as possible. In other words, to get as much male attention as you can. As many dinners, as much food, as much alcohol, as many gifts, as many trips, as many Valentine's Day cards. As many flowers as you can possibly get. Putting out as little sex as you possibly can. I wish people who wrote books like The Rules could at least be honest about what it is they're encouraging. And what they're encouraging is that women get as much stuff as they can get and give out as little sex as they can get away with giving out. It's the mirror image of Lycus 101. At least I cop to what it is. Men want to get laid. Women want us to compensate them for it. I am your professor. You may have questions about sex, getting more sex, spending less money, Staying out of relationships, avoiding marriage. By the way, guys, if you have a girlfriend, uh, uh, this is a little alarm going off for you right now. If you have a girlfriend or if you have somebody who's been like a regular who you've been trying to unload, it's kind of like one of those financial shows where they tell you it's time to sell your stocks. You know, the sell signs are there. This is the time to dump your girlfriend uh, because Valentine's Day is coming up. And if you are ever going to unload your girlfriend, this is the time to think about how you're going to escape. This is the time to do it. This is when you must get rid of her. Now, why spend the money on flowers and taking her to dinner and gifts and the pressure to get her an engagement ring and all of that stuff when you can simply drop her like a hot rock? Perhaps you could, uh, I don't know, maybe you want to start seeing her again sometime in March. But why do you want to be roped in on Valentine's Day? Your job, men, hide under the bed on Valentine's Day. I'm serious. Do not answer the phone. Do not make plans with any women. Do not come to the door. Go out with your guy friends. February 14th, it's a Monday. Make plans. And prepare to dump her today. If you've got something you'd like to share with the class, if you've got questions about sex, relationships, avoiding marriage, avoiding spending money, if you want to know how men think, remember also, the professor is a licensed interpreter. I can interpret women into English. You just call me right now.